Hi friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Tuning you today for more Coco Vanilla Studio Unforgettable Inspiration. My sweet darling photograph. I've got that fantastic cut file from the Silhouette Store. And tassels and feathers because my design team assignment today is to feature the tassels and bows from the Unforgettable Collection. And I'm afraid it's tassels for the win today with me. I'm using all the tassels and none of the bows, but... I think the layout's really pretty and you'll love it all the same. So grabbing that fabulous wood grain paper to trim the edge of my page with. And then I also really liked this little note card, this four by six, and I thought that would be really lovely down the side trim too. So I'm just gonna snip that into some pieces so I can maximize it and create the effect of a 12 inch paper by budding those two strips together. So can see how I'm going to do that and the reason I chose this paper and not a 12 by 12 is because it's got that lovely dark background and everything on my page is really white today and this just and you know it just anchors the page and it just I know it has that extra something and and what a cool way to get a 12 by 12 paper appearance without having a 12 by 12 paper so there you go I've stitched those pieces down and just with my machine, did that off camera because um, my machine doesn't quite stretch to where I film, so apologies. And there's that lovely cut file. It's called the Boho Dream Catcher, and it is from the Silhouette Store. And I'm going to hack into it a fair bit today anyway, so don't worry about all the details on it because a lot of them go. Coming in with some beautiful uh, die cut ephemera pieces. I love those big floral swags. They're just perfect for trimming the edge or rims of the dream catcher really really pretty a few florals for over the top as well of course and while we've got those die cuts the fabulous feathers and the bows and tassels and this pattern paper called lace wing isn't this a pretty one and i'm going to fussy cut some of the butterflies from this as well so i can use them on my layout i just love the speed of camera isn't that wonderful you didn't have to wait while i fussy cut them all and um there we go, look at that. Oh, it's already looking really stunning. You can already see um, the effect, it's just beautiful. Now that bigger butterfly isn't from the lace wing paper, it's actually from that cut apart sheet that I had the note card from, which is actually called Pretty Bits. So that four by six card that's trimming the left hand side of the page, that same paper has that gorgeous larger butterfly which I've fussy cut out as well. So die cut ephemera to frame my photo with, I do love repeat pattern as you all know so a circle upon a circle I do like that idea lots of florals lots of pretty dangly bits it's a really pretty page there we go look at that I'm not going to back the cut file today I feel like for, for me today this is all about showcasing those feathers and <laughs> the tassels and of course my beautiful photograph and so to keep them the focal point I think it's more important to keep the cut file less busy and really focus on what really matters. So I've just sped things up so you don't have to watch me replan at all. But you can see I'm just trimming away the bottom of the cut file now because I'm actually threading in the strings so that even when I glue this down, it will have the appearance of dangling off the actual cut file. So even with the die cut ephemera pieces which will go over, I'll trim back those actual feathers from the from the cut file so that they sit beautifully and you can't tell that there was ever a cut file piece there and yeah look it's really effective so all I'm doing is threading the tassels in and then I've got a little bit of double-sided tape on the back just to hold them in place so really simple nothing too tricky there it was a little bit fiddly but nothing difficult and you can see I stuck it to the table by accident <laughs> sometimes these things happen there we go just making sure I haven't torn the string there we go, he was just sliding off. So I'm just pressing him back on, there we go. And see how effective that looks when they hang, instead of just being sort of attached over the top, it's just so much more effective. And I love that with this cut file, it has all the bead pieces on it as well, and I'm, I'm also going to cover them too, but I did like that effect. So just going to glue every skinny, tiny little piece down now, except for those strings. So you'll see I glue the whole thing except for the strings and again that's because it creates that movement on the page, that gentle soft flow and I wanted to keep that that flow that, so it really does give the appearance of the dream catcher you know, hanging off the edge of the page and yeah just well just lots of beautiful soft texture and really pretty and yeah a nice way to use those gorgeous tassels so just going to glue in 
few pieces just making sure everything's where I want it now just so the tassels don't move too much I've just put a little bit of tape under them to help hold them sort of straight but generally they still look like they're moving so yeah and you can see I'm going to pop those lovely feathers in as well I've cut off some of the feather pieces so that they'll fit on beautifully um, others are long enough that they they don't need it but um, there we go so such a cute way to use the feathers too because there's only the three in the pack and if you're like me I need way more than three of any embellishments so um, this was a really unique way by combining the tassels with the feathers to actually you know I've got five or six now and this this works for me so much better so it's a really fun design to yeah to use up the feathers with as well so there we go popping that one in and you'll see I've kept the teal with the teal and the hot pink that lovely fuchsia color as well so things turn a bit better that way and of course the white one I'll pop up a little higher under my title piece in a moment so all these pieces yeah you can see see how I'm just lifting them a little bit as well so even though they're stuck on they're not really firmly on so that they have that appearance of yeah dangling off the page so going to frame out my photograph because of course I do still want it to be the focal point of my layout and by keeping the cut file unbacked I think it all automatically does that anyway but um yeah just that little bit of extra dimension is always appreciated there we go get that on and I'm going to tuck that butterfly in under that foam as well and there we go and I'm probably going to move that butterfly I'm not sure <laughs> let's get that other tassel in first now this one is just going straight over the top and not on a string because it is going to tack under my title so you can see I've just popped it in there and here's the title now I'm just popping some foam tape on the back of that as well and the title is of course living the dream and that's from the die cut ephemera pack too and I've popped that larger fussy cut butterfly with it so I think it just had a little more emphasis that way and yeah well you'll see it's very very pretty there we go look at that much better very very pretty and you can see I'm just making sure that when I put the title down you can just see the rim of the rings for the tassel so it still has that appearance of dangling it's not just sort of tucked under I still wanted it to look like it was very much well considered on the page so there we go lovely so it's going to fuss around now with some extra embellishments and I sort of I moved that butterfly I told you I would I had a feeling it wouldn't stay there and um, yeah look just moving things in and around some pieces I foam mount some I just stick I always bend the wings of my butterflies I love again that soft dimension and texture that creates and yeah look just playing with embellishments is probably my favorite part sometimes it's particularly in a clean white space layout because you really need to be quite particular and make sure everything is in the right space before you glue anything down so yeah coming in with some clear stickers as well and I did love those little arrows they had that boho feel to them and sort of tied in really nice with the whole yeah bohemian feel of the layout so just adding them in and as you can see I changed my mind and the lovely thing with these is if you don't seal them down first go like you just sort of lightly press them you can peel them back and move them so that was really handy and all those beads that were on the cut file I've covered each and every one of them with two packets of enamel dots because I wanted the same color but they look really effective I think and it's a little hard to see here at the moment because it's the camera's so high but when I show you on a close-up you'll see just how effective they look on the string and I think that's really fabulous of course I've added some journaling with the accessory stickers at the base there and just going to finish off here with a few more butterflies one more fussy cut one I'm tucking him in there and I'll add yeah that clear sticker one I do like that lovely soft blue very very pretty yeah look that ties in lovely there let's tuck you in and you can see why I don't glue things 100% <laughs> I like to lift and tuck and move things and it's really easy to do that if you've only used a small amount of double-sided tape to move things around on your page until you're decided and 
yeah, I'll often come back in after once the layout's completed and then glue everything down. So, And just adding in some finishing touch clear stickers now. I love those tiny little florals. They're really, really pretty, aren't they? Just that finishing look. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Just needed that extra pop of pink there. And look, that's pretty much my layout for today. Stick around. There's lots of gorgeous close-ups coming for you. I hope you've had lots of fun watching. I certainly loved making this one. I re it's a really beautiful layout and really simple to recreate. But if you do have questions or comments, pop them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And oh, look at that. So pretty. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next video. Till next time. Happy arty days. Bye.